What may seem basic to you, to me, to a few other people, may not be basic to others. When people say that is a silly question, it is not, because the person who asked it didn't know the answer. Therefore, they're asking for a reason. Every single question on a quiz show is easy if you know the answer, right? These are the same things that we get asked, that people that know the answer get asked and say, it's a silly question. And one of those things which seems simple to people who have been into the health industry, who have been into working on their health, with you as an entrepreneur that has been working on their health. In the past, you may have slipped up and now you want to get back on it. But boosting your protein. Boosting your protein to allow you to get that satiated feeling and not feel hungry for very long, but also help your body repair from the stress you're putting it through day to day. Here are six foods that are going to allow you to help your body get the protein levels up. Whilst you're in the office, whilst you're on the go, these foods are really good go-tos. The first one is eggs. Nice and simple. You can hard boil, you can fry them, you can scramble them. You can just drink them raw if you want to just be so macho and rocky. But to be honest, I'd rather my eggs cooked, right? However you eat yours, eggs are great. You've got fats, you've got protein, you've got plenty of other vitamins in there as well. Great source and not too expensive either. The second one is just getting snacks in there. It's things like jerky, things like protein bars, quest bars, carb killer bars, even things like no drain tins of tuna. I carry protein bars or little sachets or little packets of protein around with me more in my car now, but I used to carry the no drain tins of tuna just in case I got stuck in traffic or anything like that and I really, really was hungry, losing a bit of focus. I could have some tuna. Just rip off the top, open the can, and you can just tuck into it. Is it the nicest? Hell no. It's really dry, so maybe you want to get some sauce with it as well. But these are snacks that you can keep around to help you get your protein levels up. Another one is Greek yogurt. Now, people say don't have the 0% fat things because they're all filtered with sugar. Farhe do a Greek yogurt, which has been processed to be filtered in a good way. Not as in the, don't eat processed food. It's been filtered to have 0% fat in it. But that also has about 10% protein, which is a good thing for you. You're going to get your protein levels up. Greek yogurt is quite tasty as well. If you need some more taste to it, put some trubia in, put some fruit in there, something like that. Even some sugar-free, some calorie-free drops that help get some vanilla or chocolate flavor in there. All these things are going to help. It gets your protein levels up, makes you feel fuller, stops you reaching for that candy jar when you're mid-afternoon. The fourth one is just simply eat more meals. We get a lot of people nowadays that go through the fasting route. Go to have a window of 12, 16, even 20 hours without eating. That's cool for a bit of a fad, and if it works for you, 100% cool. But... A lot of people won't get their protein needs met in that one, two, three meals. And they should be really conscious of it. So if you simply eat more meals, your calories won't be higher over the day if they're smaller meals, but you get more chance to get your protein in throughout the day. Very good in order to boost your levels of your base levels of protein. The fifth one is to grab a shake. Again, as I've said, little packets of protein in my car, I have a shaker in the back, don't leave your shaker in the car if it's dirty. Trust me, you will regret that. You'll be throwing it away. They're cheap, but the smell will stay there for weeks. Have a clean shaker in the car, just in case you need to have a go-to. Same with the office. Have a tub of protein in the office. Get a scoop in there. Chuck some water in there. Good to go. 20, 25, 30 grams of protein, however much you need, is allowed to be in that shake for a good snack mid-afternoon. Gets you through to dinner. And the last one here, there are many more, but the last one I'm putting into this list are servings of almonds. Yes, they're gonna have fats in, yes, they've got a bit of fiber and carbs in there, but they're gonna have protein in as well. What I will make you aware of is that if you get all your snacks from almonds, if you try and boost your complete proteins from almonds, you're gonna be very low on calories for other things. So do take that into account. There we have it, eggs, snacks like jerky, bars, tuna, then Greek yogurt, Just eat, more meals, uh, grab a shake, and nuts. You can never have too many nuts. Unless you're nuts enough already. Then don't have too many nuts. Cool?